control. Uh, I don't see us controlling that input. Uh, it, it, we're basically going out and asking. So just just so, so I'm clear of what we're doing, uh, we would take the map of our districts currently, and we would take the new census data, and, and somehow we'll redo these maps to where you can actually look at the map and say, uh, uh, I've lost 3,000 people, or I've gained 9,000 people, and then we will say, we will ask the question, what would you like to see happen? And then we will, that's the public comment we'll solicit. Not that we necessarily follow that or whatever, but we're asking so that we have that piece of information for us to work with. Um, and then, of course, the statewide teleconference for anybody can chime in um, at that time. So that's what I envision the post meeting to be. I, I mean, we saw today we had a pretty good pretty good turnout on, on the phone, so I, uh, telecom well, I'm in the room, too, so it's going to be a lot of interest, so I would, uh, these hearings might take all day to get through uh, any particular plan. Somebody's got a better idea or a better mousetrap, but now's the time to yes, the one thing I would like to make sure we do is give each community enough time, because although it may be a smaller community, they may have more of a fleshed out idea as far as what they want. So I often suggest that we plan for an actual day in Anchorage, a day in Palmer, a you know, day in each of those locations, rather than necessarily say it's just going to be a morning meeting and then we'll zip to another one, which is going to be in a half an hour, or excuse me, a couple hours meeting in the afternoon, when we may well get testimony that we would have to cut off in order to make the next presentation of that. I, I think that would be a bad thing. Well, there might be some consideration or some thought to having meetings that let the working people come and testify too. So it does talk to staying longer in the community, you know, getting there later, staying there for the evening. I, I don't know. I mean, there's a, these are the kind of things we need to discuss to, so we get maximum participation. So should the meeting start? Uh, I mean, again, I, I think it'd be good, back to what Mr. White said, we set each meeting every day, like say we started. At one o'clock, and we go to six in each community. That gives everybody a chance to come in. I don't, uh, we, that would make us stay over maybe in a few communities, but uh, most of them I think we'll still be back. Mm -hmm. We'll be yeah. tired, but. Uh, <coughs> Bob? Tens have been starting tired. And then we can extend it as necessary. 10 a.m. Is that allows us to fly in? It's and enough to remember, sir. And six, minus four. And five. There's no end period, is there? Only if you have plane reservations, that's your end period. So uh, I think you'd want to have, uh, and I don't mind 10. I, I haven't looked at all these areas. I know you can get into Juneau. The early flight gets in at 9.30. You wouldn't be able to set up by 10. Uh, or you might be able to. Uh, that, that's probably <coughs> I don't know. Uh, Fairbanks, if you can get up there for here, at least you can probably would be an issue. Yeah. Um, Bethel, I, I don't know what their early flight is to Bethel. Uh, did we get that data? Did Mary pull that data off? Well, it, it may not be that important now. I, I just, uh, I think uh, really even noon or whatever, I don't know. We might get people who come in over lunchtime and testify and did a noon meeting. a cup of coffee with Deborah, uh, which she owes me, those kind of things, and uh, I plan on doing that in the morning. But uh, does that answer your question? Or do you think the board should just meet? I'm not sure where you're going. I just, since we're all new to this, what the process was. Well, that, I don't have served on them before, Bob, but that's what the, back, the last board did, I think. They met in the afternoon. They, met, they noticed September. it every afternoon, and they drew plans either uh, Whatever it was to keep them out of the open meetings violation, either one person drew a plan or two got together, or you, 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 two, you could ask one of the other members for some help doing something, and you just go to it. In the last go around, in the pre plan process, the first time, the board asked the staff to come up with two plans and gave them guidelines, follow these plans, and come up with two statewide, or I think they actually did area plans. 
two area, two different plans for each of these areas. So I mean, staff is a resource that the board can use. You don't have to be the one physically doing the line yourself. You're just the ones in the end who have to approve. So you can use your staff to help develop plans, draw plans, assist you in any manner you I, I thought we would use plans. Well, I, I plan on probably submitting a plan that will be the chairman's plan. Um, that other members can too. But eventually, those will be combined into maybe one or two or whatever. So you know, we might go on the road with two or three different plans for, for public comment. I, I, I don't really don't know. I, 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 I'd be a little skeptical if we can come up with one plan in a draft. That would be pretty. That'd be pretty tight boundaries right off right out of the chute. But, but anyway, I don't know. What, um, I don't know how many people have had time to work with the software. Uh, hope, hopefully you have. I'm pretty good at it now. Uh, and I think that's that's going to be part of what's going to <coughs> lead us into how we're going to work that week. Because if people aren't necessarily good with the mapping software, working with it's going to be more difficult than, than people like me who are pretty good at software. So, you know, I, I, I don't know how anybody else is, but I'd be more than willing to work with somebody who maybe isn't very good at it because I, I become pretty good at pointing and clicking and making it work. So I, I don't know if that's going to help or hinder or, as Bob suggests, maybe if people aren't necessarily familiar and I'm pretty good at it, I, you're pretty good at it, maybe work together as a group too. I, I don't know. I don't know, but that's going to be a big component to how to work the software. Well, uh, uh, and I... I mean, I'm open for anything. I, I've thought a lot about this, I, I, as well as I've tasked about everybody about how they want to do it. But uh, I think we will, from the 2 o'clock on, work as a board. And that, that's the idea of noticing that the board's going to meet at 2 o'clock. Prior to that, I need some time myself. And, and I may want to visit with you about something or whatever, as long as we're not in violation of the Open Meetings Act. We should have whatever dialogue we need against the maybe against each other, but, but uh, together. And then you come and present those ideas and draw maps from two to five or whatever it is. But I'm open to any other suggestion. Uh, th that's what I think for that week, the fourth through the eighth, is that we'll then identify uh, potential issues. Uh, we know we're going to have some you know, loss of population here and there. And, and, uh, Everybody will be able to openly say what they think about their districts, uh, or their areas that they're representing, I should say districts. Uh, but in any degree, uh, and that's just how I would do that. Now, just the 20, the, uh, the, the uh, 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th is a different ballgame. We'll probably meet all day. Yeah, it, it, not having done it, it's hard to, to visualize just what we'll be doing. And I, I had not thought about five of us bringing individual plans in. To be honest, I know we've all been working on that in different scenarios of how it was. And, and uh, I guess my idea was, as I said, projecting to wrap up and five of us getting together and saying, here's Southeast, what do you guys think? And then and do it rather than throwing someone's particular plan on the board than picking it apart or, or having to defend it. Um, so I guess it's just a matter of what the process is. And I guess we need to choose that. Draw, or so far. And we all draw uh, boundaries as a group. Uh, projecting on the wall. I like the idea of the projector because you, you can see what you're doing more than just the whatever's on your screen. But, sure. um, I'm just saying that I need, maybe 2 o'clock isn't the right time to start, maybe you'd like to start earlier, but I need, personally, I need time to sit in my office and think about what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't, I don't. And I'm I saying don't that, that I'm usually in the office uh, before 7, and I, I still ain't enough time for me to think through a lot of stuff. Um, that's just, that's, that's how I am. So, um. Is that the DOJ is now put into their guidelines that they will, they have the right to go and consider any possibilities. So it's a fact um, in terms of recognition. So the more plans you draw, the more alternatives that you've looked at, 
the more you said, you know what, we did look at that. We looked at moving the population from, you know, Coxcote here or from Ketchikan here and stuff like that, and we couldn't draw a plan that was less retrogressive. And I think one of the questions and issues that's going to be very important to forward is, is there going to be an unavoidable retrogression? You know, we don't know yet, but you just look at the numbers and you go, man, I mean, there are some very tough areas. We know what those tough areas are. We know the southeast is a tough area. We know that the, the, um, the native areas, uh, for lack of a better term, um, are going to be tough areas and down the Aleutian Chain. And so, um, you know, one of the things that uh, the last board did, and I think at least something that you should have discussion, is they basically worked with human beings, John, like you talked about, and assigned different areas to different people just to work on alternatives, just to look at how things are done. And then they would use their afternoon sessions, you know, so maybe Bob and, and um, Marie would work on the North Slope Borough areas and then they would come in and make their presentation, look, here's what we found, here's what we're talking about. Then the other board members would participate with their ideas in. That's one way to get stuff. You, know, you don't have to follow that model. You can do like John said, everybody can drop five plans, you come in, vote up or down, if that's the way you want to do it. Um, but the one thing that's going to be important as me defending this plan as we go into court and trying to get pre-clearance from the DOJ is that reasonable alternatives were looked at and considered and then rejected by the board. And I'll have an explanation why those were rejected and would allow me to make the best case with the DOJ and then eventually in the lawsuit we all know is always followed. So.